we are going to start having a look at Reality Composer for complete beginners and helping you to learn all about the software, how it works and how to use Reality Composer in the classroom for some real curriculum workflows that really start to move into the redefinition phase of SAMA and create amazing new learning experiences for your students. We'll look at how to use the shape library, how to combine shapes together to create your own 3D assets with movable parts, how to use and import 3D assets and external USDZ files, how to combine different shapes and assets within the library into a workflow, how to create your own mini scenes with just shapes, how to create scenes with shapes, USDZ files, add and move between scenes, and even how to layer up a scene with other apps in the Apple ecosystem to create a real dynamic workflow. In the opening scene, we see Professor Dumbledore waiting at Privet Drive for Hagrid and Harry Potter. To get started in Reality Composer, it can be a bit of a daunting task, especially if you've never used a program with a 3D environment before. So something like Unity, Maya, 3D Studio Max, or even SketchUp. The best thing to do is to take it slowly and do a little bit every day, even if it's just a few minutes. So we'll work through doing quick snapshots at how to use Reality Composer. So you'll feel like a pro in no time without it being too overwhelming or too much of a long process of learning. The first lesson is to learn what the anchors mean and just be comfortable in the 3D space. When you start a new document in Reality Composer, you'll be faced with different anchor choices. This is where your scene or whatever you create will be placed in AR. The horizontal anchor is something like a tabletop or a floor. Vertical is a wall. Image is a printed out image that when scanned will trigger off your behavior. Face anchor is definitely a student's favorite one to use. This is where you can add objects into Reality Composer and then when we put it into AR mode, these will attach to your face and using the true depth camera and face tracking will stay attached to your face as you move it back and forth. You will only be able to put the face anchor into AR mode if you have a device with face ID unlock and a true depth front facing camera. And the last anchor is an object within the scene or the real world. So let's get started with just a horizontal anchor. So tap on horizontal anchor. When you come into Reality Composer, you'll be given a cube and a text box, and these can be moved, deleted, or changed at any time. You don't have to keep these here. When you first come in and see this, this can be a little bit off-putting, especially if you don't know what to do. These are just pre-given shapes and they don't have to stay there at all. So the first thing to do is to just get comfortable in the 3D environment. So at the moment, the transform panel is over on the right-hand side. Let's turn this off by tapping on the transform button in the top right hand corner. Now to move through our 3D environment, tap and hold on the screen with your finger and move your screen up and down and around and around. See if you can twirl all the way around your box and even turn it upside down. You can pinch to zoom in and out. And if you ever get lost in the 3D environment, just double tap on the screen to bring it back to a centralized place or you can use the button in the top left hand corner and choose frame scene to bring it back again. And that's all you really have to do to start off with. Just get used to being in the 3D environment, zoom all the way out, zoom all the way in, get used to the grid spaces and having three different axes. So the X, the Y and the Z axis. If this is enough for your first go, come back in a day or two and try out manipulating a shape and adding a behavior. Or if you feel ready to keep going with Reality Composer, try out lesson two and three.